Hi, it's Stella from Evil University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Masters of Renaissance, Lorenzo Il Magnifico, the card game from Cranio Creations. You need to increase your fame and prestige as an influential citizen of Florence, build production buildings, and gain trust from the Pope. The game plays 1-4 to four players with mechanics such as card drafting, engine building, and resource management. The game is of light to medium complexity. In Master of Renaissance, players need to collect and manage resources to build profitable buildings for points and resources. On a place turn, they can either 1 take resources from common market trade, which you get by choosing a row or column, then put onto your limited storage, then moving the spare marble onto that row or column. Two, take a development card from common area and place it in one of your three spots on your player board. And three, activate your production on your built buildings, and these can get to advance your faith track or resources, which you can place in unlimited storage space. Players do an action at a time, then play goes clockwise to the next player. When a player reaches the end of the faith track, or when the player buys their seventh development card, the end game is triggered, and players with the most points wins. It has splendor feels to it, as you're trying to build your engine to get better cards next time, and points at the same time. A more advanced splendor. A lot of the points come from buildings and faith track. I like the timing mechanics on the faith track. It's a bit like a race. At production, you can produce as well as moving your token on the faith track. And when a player reaches a pop space, the scoring tile flipped, and everyone in that closed off area get the points. This is where the most interactions came from. I think you got to keep watching your opponents if they pick up the cards that let them produce these points. And when they started advancing, you don't want to be left behind. It's a great engine building game with marble as resources, manipulation mechanics, enough interactions between players, and for tactile person like me, moving around the marble is the most fun bit. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time!